An amazing story, Stacy. Yeah, you guys, the firefighters who were first on scene, they are here at Station 3 in Brea, and they say they were able to see through the smoke and through the dark because of this device. It's a thermal imaging device that allowed them to find that dog. In a huddle outside a home on fire, Fullerton firefighters used a special pet oxygen mask, trying desperately to resuscitate six-year-old Jasmine, found in a back bedroom. She was in my daughter's room, obviously trapped back there. Pastor Doug Green is a chaplain for the Brea Police Department. Today at 3.30, he was the one who needed help. He couldn't get past the flames and smoke to save the poodle mix his wife and daughter rescued five years ago. There's nothing we could do about it. We had to wait for the fire department to to rescue her. These Brea firefighters were the first on scene. When we showed up, uh, the house was fully involved. There was smoke and flames coming out the doors and windows. Pastor Green told them Jasmine was trapped inside. They grabbed their new thermal imaging cameras and headed in to look for her. It gives us the ability to see through the heat and the smoke and locate victims. We weren't able to see very far, so uh, we had to rely on our, our uh, thermal imaging cameras. And my captain went to one of the bedrooms and found it laying on the floor. He came out with the dog in his arms and stated, like I said, that he found the dog and uh, that it needed resuscitation, that it wasn't moving. Firefighters gave Jasmine oxygen and poured water on her. Minutes later, they took her with lights and sirens on to a nearby animal hospital. You can only see a few inches in front of your face, and then with thermal imaging cameras, we were able to see a lot farther. Without the thermal imaging cameras, we wouldn't have found it. The pastor credits the brave firefighters for working so hard to rescue Jasmine. Now he says she needs a miracle. She needs some kind of miraculous intervention because she's in grave uh, danger. She inhaled lots of fumes. Jasmine's family says that she will remain at the animal hospital tonight where she's getting oxygen. They're praying very hard that she survives. They told me that they're just grateful that firefighters were able to get in there, get to her quickly so she could have a fighting chance. That's the latest from Brea. Back to you guys in the studio. All right.